So this is the new X3. And what we can really see here is the new amount of presence, the boldness, the robust nature blended with the sophisticated surfaces. So on this car, we increase the size of the kidneys dramatically. The nose is sitting higher. This gives the presence and uh, the importance of this car. The surfaces coming from this very technical cut here, the surfaces lead off into the hood, making the kidneys feel like they're really sticking out from the body. Then we have the new lights. We have a double round headlamps uh, from BMW, but here in this very modern execution, it's a much more technical shape. It's a hexagon. That's right. So this gives it a bit more technical feeling, a bit more modernity, brings it uh, into the future. Also, the new fog lamps here, much more horizontal, a bit more thin, also giving it a very modern approach. The overall car now is standing very strong, very strong on the wheels, lots of power, and then precise lines on the hood with very flowing surfaces. That gives it the sophistication. So we have a range radar here in the middle, and that really is nicely integrated amongst these air intake details, very fine and precise. Also here on the X line, we have the underbody protection in the aluminium mat, and that gives it a bit more robust and rugged feeling. That, that is the off-roadish uh, version. That's right, this is for the X line. We also have the M Sports model and the M Performance model and luxury line for this car. And uh, about the grill, it's, it's bold. So on the grill, we have actually two layers of kidney bars. So the first layer here, the, the, the more forward, the more dominant layer, uh, is what we know, a, bit, a more technical shape. And there's an inner layer if you look closely. And this is an active layer. It's opening, it's closing, depending on how much air the, the motor needs. And what this does is it increases the aerodynamic efficiency. What coefficient? We're down to a 0.29 CX, which is the drag coefficient. That's a benchmark. That's a benchmark that's best in class. And that's uh, on par with the uh, X1 as well. And also uh, the previous generation was a 0.32. So we've dramatically improved the aerodynamics on this car. We're very proud of these figures. So here in the side view, we can see the change in the proportion. We're a bit more elongated uh, on the greenhouse, a very elegantly stretched window, and a very clean and simple Hofmeister kink. Also, the wheelbase has grown by about 50 millimeters, and we can see the larger wheels, lots of power on the front fender, lots of power on the rear fender, and in between, a very precise, uh, nice BMW shadow here ending before the rear wheel and starting again afterwards, really emphasizing the power on the wheel arch. We have the air breather here, nice decor element, and also very new modern technical wheel arches with this very nice shape. It's quite robust and has a nice chamfer that really gives it this new technical and modern feeling. There's very elegant surfaces in between these lines and this really speaks to the sophistication of the vehicle. Also on the underbody, a nice accent just to underscore the stability of the car. And this is the X line here, so it's finished in the aluminium mat. What about the back? Well, on the rear, we have these very three-dimensional uh, rear tail lamps, which is quite new for this car. And um, as you can see, it's a very precise signature, instantly recognizable at night. And I love the way that it picks up from the character line from the side and really continues that theme coming through. Yeah, it's 3D. That's right. There's a lot of sculpture in here and BMWs have always been known for a very sculptural form language. So it's just natural that we start bringing that into the rear lamps. Um, also on the rear, you're gonna notice here a very technical uh, shaped rear glass. And this is one of those things that we've introduced to help bring down the aerodynamic um, coefficient, the drag coefficient. And we've got that down to a 0.29, um, as mentioned on the front. It's all on, on all models. This is on all models. So it's extending the roof and it helps the aerodynamic efficiency of the car. Um, on the X-Line, Luxury Line and the Basis model, you're going to see here the underbody protection in black cladding, 
uh, also body color and aluminium mat. And this very technical form language is a repetition of what we see on the front uh, and rear wheel arches. Uh, the double exhaust will be on, on uh, just on uh, X or uh, trim or? The double exhausts are on all models. All models. On all models. And, uh, this and they are not fake. They're not fake, no, they're completely functional and real. That's um, refreshing. <laughs> on the M Performance model, we'll have a special exhaust design, uh, which is uh, more rectangular and a bit more technically cut uh, in a similar shape to the wheel arches.